All right, YouTube, Reasonotics back with part two of my Nintendo 2010 E3 press conference review. Now, if you hear a little bit of babbling or screaming in the background, that's my son. He's running around crazy. He wasn't awake during part one. He's awake now, so we got to do this before he gets too crazy. Um, all right, yo, so we left off on Epic uh, on Kirby's Epic Yarn, which looks like a definitely unique and fun 2D side-scrolling platformer. Um, then we got, of course, man... Metroid Other M, Team Ninja and Nintendo's baby. Uh, just got more footage of it shown, more in-depth gameplay footage shown with a release date, August 31st. That's coming straight from uh, Reggie Fields of May, which pretty much means it's set in stone. Once he When he announces it, you know, Nintendo basically saying, yo, this is it. It's coming out August 31st, which is a little bit over a month from now, man. And the game looks badass, bro. It's saying, I mean, you've seen the footage by now. 2D perspective. Switches to 3D perspective when you go first person view on the vi through the visor to look at your surroundings. Uh, you got a lot of uh, got a lot of different camera angles from which to view the action. Sometimes it's coming toward the screen, sometimes it's going away, sometimes it's side scrolling, sometimes it's overhead. Just amazing polish on the characters and fluid animation for the motion and the and the and the finishing moves, man. When she like grabs one of the aliens' heads and just blows it clean off with the with the, the her hand cannon or whatever you call it. Beautiful graphics, and I know this is going to dive a lot deeper into the story of how Samus ended up as a Samus that we all know and love. So this is going to be an amazing game. Definitely dropping 50 on that, man. Metroid Other M, August 31st. Then we had uh, Dragon Quest IX for the DS, exclusively for the DS, uh, announced, coming out this holiday season. More RPG gold for RPG fans. Um, and before I go into the next game, let me just... Let me just say that Nintendo in this E3 has gone back and really catered to the fans that felt so neglected for so long, you know, the quote-unquote, see, he's laughing, I guess it's ridiculous, the quote-unquote hardcore audience that felt neglected over the last couple of years, over the last couple of years, they went back now and pretty much every game they've announced here is a hard, you know, quote-unquote, because I hate that, that stereotype is a quote-unquote hardcore title, man, geared at the mature hardcore gamer. And you got Zelda, you got GoldenEye, you got Golden Sun, you got Epic Mickey, you got Metroid Prime, uh, Metroid Other M, you got Kirby, I mean, Dragon Quest. I mean, come on, this is all hardcore gaming right here, uh, you know, quote-unquote hardcore gaming. So I just wanted to make that side note. Nintendo's really gone back and really... This E3, this year, this next year or so, 2010 and 2011, is really going to be all about Nintendo's core audience. Uh, but then uh, we go now to a new game, and it's the second rumor floating around the internet this week that is again confirmed. Thank God we have Retro Studios, makers of the beloved Metroid Prime series, working on something brand new to which we saw footage and gameplay. And that is Donkey Kong Country Returns. Got that same 2D slash 3D look. Side-scrolling platform. Beautiful presentation and graphics. Amazing soundtrack. That Donkey Kong theme is there. Uh, just an amazing sounding game. Uh, just think of Donkey Kong Country 1, 2, and 3. Those amazing side-scrolling platformers on the SNES. Redone in today's technology, today's no. graphics, though the Wii's graphical power, no. uh, unique motion-based controls, all that thrown into the game. Man, it just looks amazing, man. It's got some parts no. in the level where you jump from the foreground to the background and continue on in the background. No. Amazing game, man. I am so happy Nintendo's bringing a, a Donkey Kong. I've been no. waiting for a Donkey Kong on the Wii for a couple no. years now. Now if Nintendo will just answer my prayers and bring a Star Fox and a Pilot Wings to the Wii, I could die happy, man. But, uh, yo, this looks amazing, man. Platforming action. No one does it better than Nintendo, man. And then they ended up the, the conference by announcing and debuting the Nintendo 3DS, okay? Now, if you know me, I am not a big fan of handheld consoles. I had a Nintendo DS Lite for a while, gave it away to one of my friends. Not that it's a bad system. It's a very good handheld system. I'm just not big on handheld systems. I gave it away to one of my friends, you know, who was living in Philly, so that he had stuff to do. He was mad bored, so I said, yo, just take this, you know, you can play it. But uh, let me tell you, man, as soon as this thing drops, or very close to when it drops, I am definitely dropping the money to get this system, man. Yo, check this out. This is just some of the specs. First of all, 
it provides awesome stereoscopic 3D without any glasses. You don't have to wear no funky glasses or goggles. Right there in the ha in your hands, you have a system that is shooting 3D imagery right at your face. It's got two camera lenses, and the reason for that is because it allows you to take digital photos and display them in 3D. You can view them in 3D. 3D digital photos, man. That's awesome. Uh, it's got an analog stick as well as a D-pad. It's got two screens, the bottom one being a touch screen, the top one being a 3.5 inch wide screen, and it's got a, it has the capability to play 3D movie trailers and, you know, 3D footage and stuff like that. Okay, that's just the specs. I mean, the little system looks, it looks nice, man, the design of it and everything, but yo, the game that they debuted for it, and this is a game that was being rumored to come out on the Wii for so long, and it's actually for the 3DS, Kid Icarus Uprising. Yes, Kid Icarus is back. And let me tell you something. Oh, another thing. I'm sorry. Another thing about the, the 3DS. It's not the same graphical output as the DSi or the DS Lite. It is six years later than the DS. It is the successor, the true successor to the DS. And therefore, they even they even made a point of mentioning that the graphical power of the system will be substantially more. It puts out better graphics. So you got a, you got a graphical upgrade as well. And now Kid Icarus, they showed it in full motion. Awesome looking handheld game, man. Great graphics. Uh, and they showed it, you know, images of it, you know, screenshots of it in 3D. And then what they said is true. When you look at it in 3D, being displayed in 3D, you appreciate so much more. And you can note the depth, the length, the width, the height of the entire world that you're in. I mean, they got one screenshot where he's flying, like, through the clouds to the horizon. It's, like, behind them. And you feel like the clouds that are wrapping around him, like, if they're, like, right at the edge where the screenshot ends, you feel like they continue to wrap around you. And you can you can almost taste and feel the depth, the, the 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 distance that it takes to get to the horizon in that screenshot. Just amazing graphical and technological power in this little handheld. Definitely getting that one way or another, man. That's the end of the press conference, man. Let me just go over it real quick, review, show you how Nintendo kicked ass this year, basically. Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword for the Wii what we've been waiting for. Mario Sports Mix, We Party, Just Dance 2, Golden Sun, Dark Dawn for the DS, GoldenEye 007 for the Wii, Epic Mickey for the Wii, Kirby's Epic Yarn for the Wii, Metroid Other M for the Wii, Dragon Quest 9 for the DS, Donkey Kong Country Returns, and the Nintendo 3DS with Kid Icarus Uprising. Yo, Nintendo blew the roof off of that place today, man. Microsoft's press conference ain't got nothing on Nintendo's, and Sony's we have yet to see, so I'm not going to talk about them, but I doubt they got anything, man, that can rival Legend of Zelda Skyward Swords or Donkey Kong Country Returns. Come on, man. So, yeah, man, Nintendo bringing it back, bringing it back big, doing it big. I cannot wait for some of these games. The only reason I can wait is because I'm broke and a joke and I got no money right now to get these games. So I'm going to have to work something out. But yeah, man, Nintendo E3 2010, man, I give them a 10, man. That was an off-the-chain presentation, off-the-chain announcements, off-the-chain games being displayed, ready to go in the next couple months. So God bless y'all. Stay gaming. Peace.